and X guard, okay? So June's gonna start standing. So guys, we've done this uh, collar sleeve guard, you know, sleeve, collar, foot on the hip, foot on the shoulder. And I'll do a few different angles just so we can see. Uh, but pretty much the cross sleeve guard is super powerful move. A collar sleeve guard is super powerful. You know, I can tuck the arm in. I can uh, plot that from here, triangle attacks, you know, a plethora of moves. So a lot of times the guy, he might try to break my grip. Yeah, grab the sleeve grip. And then I go two on one. And this is gonna get us to the cross sleeve guard. And this is very important, especially if you go with someone strong and may like pull your elbow. Like you just feel like, man, I can't move this. So instead of just sitting in this collar, collar sleeve guard, especially against someone very strong, we can go two on one and then look, you see how he has his elbow and knee together? I can use that two on one to open that space up, okay? So ideally, I'm trying to create that opening so I can start attacking him from here. You know, I can stay here, guys, as long as I keep my legs in place. Don't start relaxing your legs or kicking them out too hard because you're going to give unnecessary space. You know, it's going to start passing and doing whatever he wants. So sometimes I'll stay here. And then look, I can always go back to my, my original collar, collar sleeve guard. You know, I can go back to the lasso here. I can go from, from here to De La Hiva. Okay, so a lot of openings, a lot of options, okay? What I don't want you guys to do, I had a lot of students, they were sort of letting go of the collar or the sleeve and then, and then now, you know, the guy, he's gonna start doing Toriandos or if nothing else, you know, it's just gonna be more of a hassle and keep your arm away. You know, he's not gonna give it back to you. So now you gotta switch your guards and stuff which isn't bad, but you know, if you're in a tournament, if you guys have competed, sometimes a guy, you know, they got the adrenaline, they're moving super quick, they're super strong, and you might not get that sleeve back. So just think about that, okay? So again, collar sleeve guard, I go cross sleeve, either just straight off the back, or he tries to break my grip on his collar, his lapel. So there I go two on one here, and I'm gonna try to bring that arm across my body and I wanna keep my elbows tucked in, guys. I don't need to do like a big move, trying to like, uh, trying to press it away. Just pass it, and then look, I keep my elbows tight to my body. So if he tries to pull this, you know, it's okay if he does bring that, because I can always pull it back later, or it, it's just not, it's not that big of an issue, but when it's on the near side arm, you know, it's gonna burn out. Cause I feel a little bit stronger going across my body here. So I can kind of post my elbow to my, my ribs, okay? From here, I'm gonna underhook his leg. All right, and I wanna get his ankle in the crook of my elbow. Like, turn this way a little bit, June. Yeah, I wanna get his, his ankle in the crook of my elbow. And then I, as much as possible, I wanna go high up on his leg, trying to grab higher. I feel like it's a little bit tighter versus here, uh, which isn't wrong. I just feel a little bit, personally, I feel a little bit tighter grabbing up higher. And you know, I'm on his, his shin, his calf kind of digging my fingers in, okay? The far leg, you know, I, I'll try to keep contact with his body, but if he traps it or something, we're not gonna worry too much because I can always kind of kick it away from him, all right? From here, my number one attack is gonna be an umaplata. So I'm gonna, if, especially if he has my pant, I'll, I'll show the angle later, guys, but I can bring my hips off the mat with the foot on his arm and the foot on the, on the hip. I can bring my hips off the mat. And while I'm doing this, the most important thing is hiding that arm into my hip, okay? So I bridge my my hips off the mat, and then I can bring that the, the foot on the hip off the hip to his back, and then his hand into my hip. And when I get that foot, the foot that was on the hip onto his back, I wanna stay heavy, guys. If I'm here relaxed, posture back up, June. You know, he's gonna posture up, try to rip out or something, do a cross grip break too. Yeah, break, boom, you know, man, that's gonna, your hand's gonna be hurting after that, guys. So. When I'm here, I bring my hips off the mat, heavy on his back, hide that hand. That's the number one detail, guys. Hide that hand right into your hip, because especially if he tries to posture up, I can drive his, his arm into my own leg so he's got less power, okay? From here, right now my, my hips are kind of pointing towards his head. I'm gonna move my body to the side so I can actually swing my hips over, and I wanna be more parallel to his body, okay? From here, especially if he's, he's still kind of up, I'm gonna rock him down towards the mat from here. Before he can, uh, keep your knee up. Before he can place this knee, the, uh, the leg I'm holding, before he can place that knee on the mat, I'm gonna spin 
him across my body. So like a barrel roll, log roll, across my body. Okay. My dojo's small, so we don't got a lot of space. Strings off the mat. <laughs> okay. Let's look at that again from a different angle. So again, guys, I'm here, collar sleeve guard. I switch to cross sleeve guard here, underhook the leg. And so that's why I was saying he keeps my leg so I can actually use that to post off the mat. If he doesn't let hold my leg, I can just use my core, bring my hip off the mat. So it's gonna work the same, okay? So as I'm bringing my hip off the mat, the foot that was on his hip goes to his back and I'm kind of compressing his back down. And then I hide his arm into my hip. From here, I bring my hips, I circle my hips off to the side so I'm parallel with his body. Now I'm gonna rock him down. So imagine like a, like a hammer or like an ax or something going down. And then look, I rotate him over my body. Okay. Let's look at that again. So again here, cross sleeve, collar sleeve, cross sleeve, underhook, I come up. So that's the most important part. You gotta go quick before we can posture up, okay? So come up high, clamp down on the back. And then look, that's what I'm saying with the hand. I hide that right in my hip, guys. Cross my legs. As I'm crossing my legs, I like to bring my hip parallel to his body. And now I start to come down, rotate. Boom, you know, I don't have a lot of space, he's falling. And then immediately come up, guys. If you stay here, he's gonna hook your head, man. And you're not gonna have a good time. So I, as soon as I sweep him, I come up, you know, I can turn back to the side mount. I can turn into mount. So you have a lot of different options from there. And uh, something I, I wish I touched on it on in my class when I'm doing this kind of move stuff, this kind of omoplata stuff. Sometimes the guy might be able to step over my body. Okay, uh, let's get back a little bit, June. Yeah, sometimes I come back. So sometimes you're kind of loose on that leg, man. He steps over, and so uh, we got a few different options. One thing I like to do is I'm I don't want to stay here because maybe he potentially could go for a knee bar. There, that's what Dylan Dennis used to do back in the day, guys. Back when he was a brown belt, he was actually pretty decent. So, uh, so when I'm here, I feel that I've got a I'm gonna switch off his sleeve, and I'm gonna pull my knee towards my chest and the bottom leg towards my chest, and we're, we're gonna go to a crab ride. So I'm here, let go of the sleeve, post on his legs, pull my legs through. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I like it when I do that. And then from here, I can grab for his belt, his back, his waistband, whatever, whatever grip you can get. And then look, I kick him out. And now we're in that crab ride, take the back. Take the back and then get your, your seat belt, okay. Let's look at that again. So yeah, I didn't get to cover that in my class, but maybe the students can watch this video and see that. So here, collar sleeve, cross sleeve, underhook. Uh, yeah, I go for my move, boom, he steps over. Sometimes, you know, I can sweep him over too with just my legs. If I catch him off guard, but sometimes the guy's heavy. Come back up to Yeah, sometimes you're just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, they start sitting on you. So look, I let go of my grips post off his legs, and I kind of bring my knees to my chest from here, and then I go for the crab ride, take the back, place my hooks in, okay. One other move you might see, this happened to me also. I did the same move set, move, movement here. Uh, but this time he stepped this over, but his other leg was down. Yeah, so I was just like, Ugh. I couldn't do anything. So I'm gonna do kind of the same movement. I could go for the back. I can also, when I get my hand out, so I let go of his sleeve, and I, I'm using my forearms to kind of hook his leg, guys. Keep my other knee kind of in towards my, my hip. And now I'm gonna bring this on the outside. Here, so a gnarly knee bar, okay? And sometimes the guy, he doesn't even know what's happening, so he's, he's probably gonna scream. So be careful. Let me do that again, different angle. So here, here, come up. He steps over, yeah. I can't do anything, so look, I let go of the sleeve, guys. Post on the thigh. My inside leg I pull towards my, my chest. 
outside leg. So I went very nice, but when I did it in training, I really kicked that leg. Here, and then look, his leg's trapped and pressure down, okay? So those are all good options from Umapata. Now let's look at my other favorite uh, kind of situation or transition. So a lot of times I'm here, cross sleeve. So I, sometimes I'll just, I'll hang out here guys, like move around a little bit, June. So I'll just hang out, man. I'll just hang out there and then I'll look for that umapata. Cause it's a very hard position to pass. Once you let them, it's a very hard position to pass. Once you let them get your arm across their body, man, it's tough. So sometimes I'm here, if he starts to posture up, uh, one big move I like to do is I'm gonna use my far leg to hook his far leg. So I'm actually hooking. I'll, I'll change the angle too so you guys can see. Hooking, and look, now I'm gonna ex kind of escape my knee under and then sweep my hips in into him. So I'll show this a few times because it kind of catches people up a little bit. So I'll have my foot on the hip. I, I want to bend my knee a little bit and look, I, look, I kind of swivel my hips under. As I do that, I pull his, his leg up to my hip, my shoulder. And then I have a lot of attacks here. I can switch back to like a modified collar sleeve with the sleeve and collar in this X guard. And then look, I want to keep my, my top foot on his, his near side hip as much as possible. If I go far hip, he can push that off and then maybe back step or do some crazy stuff, okay? So I stay on the near hip. From here, if I get his collar, man, this is very powerful. Try to posture up, June. Nope. It's gonna be very tough. From here, I can start to uh, escape that top leg into his armpit. Look, umapata. Now I can do the same roll that we just did a little bit ago. Okay. Let's do that a few times, June. So here, cross sleeve. And now I can always go umaplata, but sometimes the guy postures up. Posture up, June. So look, I go far leg under, hook or hooking, swivel my hips under. So I like to, again, bring that knee down, especially if you're tall, you got long legs. I'm short, so I, I just slide on in. But for tall people, you, you need to bend your leg and then look, keep your foot on the hip, and I swivel my hips under. So I can even post off of him to make my hips lighter and then go under. From here, I go sleeve, collar, and now I can just shoot my leg, uh, control his posture. I can shoot my, my foot to his back, okay? Okay, just straight there, and then umaplata. If you find yourself having trouble getting that foot through, look at my foot, guys. I'm not just going straight through. I'm kind of turning myself on, on the side, and I want to get my, my heel kind of pointing towards his head. So that actually makes it a lot easier to clear his uh, hip. And I go crossover, okay? So something that might help help you guys, I can also, once I get this control, I can also bring my bottom foot out and post on his hip. And now I can go for that umaplata. Okay, uh, turn me closer towards the camera, June. A little bit more, there. So, you know, I'm in the X guard. I got my sleeve and collar modified position. I, maybe he's kind of tall, or maybe I just feel like I can't get my leg through. I'm gonna take the bottom leg out, guys foot on the hip, and I use that to bridge myself into the umaplata. Here, and then back into that sweep. All right, so that's a good option, especially if I'm going at someone tall, where I feel like, man, Jesus, I can't, I can't get him. So again, foot on the hip, bridge up, and then walk your umaplata. And then one thing I do want to add, if you're super tall, like you're like, Alec, I can't get the X guard. Some people are like that. Let's sit, let's walk back a little bit. So I'm here, guys. Like, you know you're just not gonna get the X guard or maybe you, you can't, once you get the, the modified position, X guard with the sleeve and collar, you're like, ah, oh, okay, there's no space. My legs are too long. I've never had that problem, guys, so I don't know. So one thing we can do when I'm here, so as soon as I, I'm gonna go for the X guard uh, entry we just did, again, swiveling my hips under. As soon as I swivel my hips under, I'm not gonna wait in the X guard I'm just gonna use that to off balance him and then go for umaplata. So to demonstrate, as soon as I swivel my hips under, boom, straight in, okay? Let's turn a little bit. 
So I got the cross sleeve guard, underhook, he postures up. I go for X guard, so I'm trying to get my hips under. So I kind of off balance him, him up. And then instead of st staying here, guys, I'm gonna pull his arm towards my hip and shoot it straight. Okay, let's change one more angle. Uh, step back a little bit, yeah, a little bit more. There you go. So cross sleeve guard, underhook, or far leg underhooks his leg. So I'm kind of, it's almost like a, like a bump. I'm bumping him to get more space. If I can get him to post his arm, that's perfect, okay? So swivel your hips under. So I off balance him there, guys. And then look, look at all this space here. Man, I shoot that foot straight to his armpit. At the same time, I pull his arm towards my hip. Lock, and then look, I can roll all day. So that's, uh, those are my favorite attacks from cross lead guard. You get there, sometimes, uh, move around with me a little bit, June. Sometimes uh, I'll just sit there. So guys, I'm just gonna have June move around a little bit so you can kind of see the positioning. So I'm just gonna start with the cross sleeve guard with the underhook, move around a little bit, June. Keep moving. So I can even go two on one here, keep going. And come back. Keep moving a little bit more. Give me a little bit more resistance too. So it's a very good, strong, powerful guard. I, I just covered like my favorite attacks. You also have uh, just a touch on. You know, some guys will use this. Guys like, uh, you know, uh, Isaac Doderline and the Kennedy, they'll get here. And then they'll use this to sit up. You know, they can sit up and then start taking your back and sweep you and stuff like that. They can do lapel, they do a drag off there too, you know? <laughs> Like they can uh, like come down a little bit. Like I can drag you from here with the collar too. Like that. So that cross sleeve is very powerful. You know, when someone gets me in that position, we'll look at what I do, but man, I, I, I'll let you know that I don't wait. I'm like, get out, get out, get out. Cause you're, you're so vulnerable. They bring your arm across your body. You're just vulnerable and that leg's open. So guys, uh, it's a very powerful position. So if you guys like to see more content like this, please let me know. And uh, thank you, June. Papa June, man. All right, guys, until next time, peace out. Peace, subscribe peace, peace. Subscribe and follow. Subscribe and follow, yeah. I don't care if they subscribe. If you want to subscribe, it's fine. The content's good. That's, that's my goal, have good content.